Mortgage rates saw a dip last week from nearly 8% and a 20-year high to around 7.5%. But is that drop enough to help, you, to help you get into your actual dream home? ABC 15's Mike Owen joins us now live in studio to break down the local real estate market and show you some options available for financing. Mike? A local real estate agent tells me winter is the best time to purchase a home here because there are fewer buyers. She says many are scared away by the current interest rate, but it's important to know that there are a lot of financing options out there to get you into a home. Lots of great opportunities for buyers. And if they're considering or interested in potentially looking at new home sales and new construction, a lot of the national builders have a lot of inventory and are offering incentives to potential buyers. Many new home builders along the Grand Strand are offering mortgage rate buy downs to lower monthly payments. There are also a lot of loan options available if you still need help with financing. The average price of all homes in Ori and Georgetown counties now sits at around $325,000. I have seen a lot of really creative loan products, uh, some private equity products from smaller local banks. Um, they also have some condo tell financing for that oceanfront investment type property. So there are lots of different loan options for buyers out there. Minkilo says while she's not seeing as many cash buyers as earlier in the year, most buyers are still putting down 20%. But if you don't have that much, there are still ways to buy a home. In 2022, nearly 19,000 uh, South Carolina households were able to access home ownership with less than a 20% down payment because of private mortgage insurance. Buyers that can't afford 20% down are typically at a greater risk of default. Private mortgage insurance can allow you to get into a home with a smaller down payment because it covers lenders in case you can't make a payment, which makes it beneficial to both the buyer and the lender. 52% um, of those borrowers in South Carolina were first time home buyers, 35% of them had incomes below 35,000 and the average home price was about $306,000. Now I ran all the numbers for you on what it would cost per month if you bought a home at $325,000 with a 7.5% mortgage rate, including property taxes and your homeowner's insurance, you're looking at just north of $2,000 per month. Renting a three bedroom, two bath house in the Carolina forest will run you about the same. Connor Jen, back to you. Hi, right, Mike, thanks. And for more on loan options, head to our website, WPDE.com, and look for Mike's story.